Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm gonna do another 24-hour readathon. I did a 24-hour readathon at the beginning of May and I will link that in the description box below as well as in the cards if you're interested in seeing how that one goes. This weekend I have to read some books for the Buzzwordathon. I have my TBR posted, I will link that as well. The Readathon started on Tuesday. It is now Saturday. I haven't read anything yet. I knew that I was going to kind of struggle with it, so I kind of made sure that I didn't have any plans this weekend. That way I would be able to do kind of a readathon if I had time, and I do have time, so that's the plan. It is about 2.30 right now. I'm going to start around 3.00. I do have some things I need to do outdoors. I had two foals be born this week, so I do have some things outside, so you'll get some clips of some baby horses if you're into that. Other than that, I don't really know a whole lot of what I have going on, but I'll take you guys along for the ride with me. So let me show you the four books that I need to read for this readathon. The first is By Your Side by Casey West. I read another Casey West book this month, and I did like it um, on the fence. It's the one I read earlier this month. I did enjoy it, so by your side. I know this is about uh, two people who get locked into a library together and they don't really get along before they get locked in to the library together, but maybe they do after, which getting locked into a library sounds fun if it was like just for the night. For the weekend, horrifying. Next is The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson. I don't really remember a whole lot about what this is about, but I read Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson last year. Really enjoyed it, so I wanted to read some of her backlog. And of course, you know, it has the buzzword in it, which is you. So, naturally. And then the next two kind of go together because the book that I plan to read for the readathon is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han, but it's the second book in the Summer I Turned Pretty series, and I haven't read that first, so I first need to read The Summer I Turned Pretty, and then I can read It's Not Summer Without You. I love these new covers. My third book is the old cover, not the new cover. I got them super cheap on Book Outlet, and I kind of decided that if I love them, then I'll buy the matching cover, but if I just am like, eh, about them, then I probably will just keep my mismatched covers. But when you buy a book for $3 instead of $15, you can't really complain. All right, those are my five books. I got about a half hour to do a few little things around the house, and I'm gonna get started and take you guys along with me for the journey. It is now about 8 p.m. I have actually finished two books, but only one of them was on my list, because that's how I live my life. So the book that I actually finished is By Your Side by Casey West. Again, I've read some Casey West before. I read By the Fence earlier this month. Was it earlier this month or was it in May? I don't know. Either way. I read it recently and I really enjoyed it. And a lot of people that have said that Casey West is kind of mediocre said that By the Fence was their favorite of Casey's. And while I don't know exactly where this one is going to stack up against it, I did really enjoy it. Um, I haven't decided, I haven't sat down to actually do my rating yet, but I did really enjoy this book. So I think I did like By the Fence more, but we'll see what happens when the rating scale comes out. And then the book that was not on my list that I read was Zodiac Star Force Volume 2, Cries of the Fire Prince. I read Zodiac Star Force. It was the last thing I read at the end of May and I absolutely loved it. It was like the highest book I rated in May and I ordered this and it just came in today and so I absolutely had to sit down and read it and I really enjoyed it. Again, I haven't rated it yet. I think it is going to sit a little lower than the first volume because the first volume was just so good and I feel like this moved too quickly. Like it was just over. Like I was reading it and I was enjoying it and then it was over and that is never a good thing. That to me is like a pacing issue, but I did really enjoy it as well, so that's good. Um, Zodiac Star Force is amazing. I don't know that every graphic novel company does it, but I know that Dark Horse does, and I think that everything that I have is Dark Horse comics, so I mean, I've only, I think this is like my fifth comic graphic novel that I actually own, so I think Dark Horse is the only one that I actually have, but they have like these sections at the end where they talk about the characters and the way that they developed the, the graphic novel with the artist and the writer. And they just have these beautiful character portraits. I mean, not only is the artwork in these things absolutely stunning, I just, I'm looking for the picture um, from the, the cover for part two. I mean, look at it. The artwork in these is so stunning. This, the storyline is so good. I absolutely love it. These who are very, I mean, my knowledge of graphic novels is pretty low. I mean, I own 
the two volumes of this, two volumes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Spell on Wheels. I've read like the first seven volumes of Saga, which I don't own, but I have read. But I, I definitely think this is a really good one. I've, I've so far not read any graphic novel that I haven't enjoyed. But again, very low numbers. So if you know anything that's like Zodiac Star Force, please recommend me in the comments section below because I would love to read it. I have this and Spell on Wheels I loved also. If there's anything that you know that's like Spell on Wheels, send it to me. They're so good. So I'm up two books, um, one of which counts and one does not, but it's fine because I'm having a good time. So I'm going to have some dinner and probably going to either edit a video for tomorrow or refilm tomorrow's video depending on what it sounds like because it's another one that I filmed last weekend during the great lawnmower debacle and I just I struggled so hard with my wrap-up but there was no way that I was going to be able to refilm that. Uh, it pained me inside to upload that wrap-up with the lawnmower sound in the background especially at some points of it was real bad but there it was just I mean it took me like an hour and a half to film it and there was just no way I was refilming that but I know that what I have now for tomorrow's video is pretty short and if there's a lot of lawnmower sound in it it's gonna get refilmed so if you see tomorrow's video with this face that means I refilmed it so that won't be tomorrow for you it'll be tomorrow you know what I mean though okay cool so I'm either gonna be editing a video or filming and then editing a video for tomorrow and having dinner. Wish me luck. So I know that there's basically like no light right now, but live with it. Cool. It is five in the morning and I just finished The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You and it was real good. Like, I hate to say that something's better than I expected it to be, but it was better than I expected it to be. It's very fandom heavy, which I wasn't expecting. I mean, they know that they kind of talk about in the synopsis that it's about um, characters that are very deep into fandom, but it was it was very much a love letter to fandom in my opinion. It was just really good. I started reading it and I was going, like I went to bed and I was started reading it and I was going to stop reading like around chapter three and I realized oh, that I didn't take a bookmark to bed with me. Which obviously means that you just have to read the whole thing. That there was there was no option. What actually happened was I decided I was gonna read until I got tired or was bored or, you know, just couldn't handle it anymore. But it was really good and I just kept reading it. Kept enjoying it. Which is good. It's definitely not what I expected it. There was a lot more mystery than I had expected. It had like a full on mystery plot. Which was interesting. And they're, because the characters are so smart, they are more like adults than like teenagers. But there is reasoning behind that and I accept it. But yeah, just, just real good. Like, there was a lot of speculation about the brain and how the brain works and things like that. It was just very interesting. And I really enjoyed it. I'm rambling because it's five in the morning and I'm tired and I want to go to bed. What kind of 24 hour readathon host would I be if I didn't? update you with an update at five in the morning like what kind of person would I be if I didn't do that so anyway Fix is acting a fool I'm gonna go back to the bed and go to bed and get a couple hours of sleep and get up and read some more tomorrow I'm gonna start with the the summer I turned pretty. I don't understand why you're laying there. It's like doing out here or in here I guess I should say hey there junior what are you doing come here baby
You're being good, mommy. You swishing your butt at me. Junior, why are you keep running from me? There he is. There him is. Naturally, you see her way over there. It's the other mommy and baby. But look how far away the barn is. Like one's in the barn and one's clear in the back of the pasture because they're assholes like that. Hi, Flame. Hi, baby. Am I allowed to pet? The big girl. Oh, look at that cute little baby, though. Yeah. gonna bother the baby. We just want to see her. No, she's not as friendly as Junior. Of course, Aunt Becky did pick her up yesterday and carry her, so. Probably not real fond of that experience. Hey, Mommy. How you doing, old lady? I'll leave you alone to eat. Well, <laughs> my 24 hours is up. I didn't update this morning because I didn't actually wake up this morning after staying up until almost six in the morning last night, six in the morning this morning. I ended up waking up around noon. And so for the last three hours, I've been doing my chores and stuff around the house. And so I was listening to an audiobook, which was not part of the readathon, but was one of the books that I have on my list for this month, and that is The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. I am on page 168 of this, which is about 50%, so I've read about half of this. And in addition to that, in my 24 hours, as a little bit of a recap, I was also able to read all of By Your Side by Casey West, The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson, and Zodiac Star Force Cries of the Fire Prince by... Kevin Panetta, Paulina Gunshaw, and Sarah Stern. So there you have the two books, one graphic novel and half of a book 
that is how I was able to read in this 24 hours. Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying my 24 hour readathons. I know they could be a little better but I'm, I'm really just starting to learn how to do these kind of vlogs. They're a little different. I might start doing weekend reading vlogs instead of like just a 24 hour because I don't seem to read very much in my 24 hours so maybe I'll get more done in the whole weekend. I'm not really sure but we'll see what happens in the future. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye!